All right, welcome back to South Park, uh, the fractured butthole. I gotta Shit, remember that it's not sick of like truth. Sound like a dying giraffe. That was a cat. <laughs> oh, okay. I just thought it was Fergie singing. That's the farting vigilante. <laughs> Fergie. <laughs> yeah, remember her? Oh, yeah, I do remember Fergie. <laughs> yeah. You know how Shakira sounds like Kermit the Frog? <laughs> <laughs> you, you know Shakira? You know? I, 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 yeah, Her hips don't lie. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I never got Kermit. <laughs> so you mention that. I may not be able fuck to. Fuck with it. You have to, I, some, I may you not be able s- to unhear that now, depending on the song. You may have to fuck with your audacity just a little bit compared to the rest, but you can easily get Kermit the Frog out of it. <laughs> We could probably put like a five second clip on right now, Elliot. We can get away with that. Because I need to hear that for myself to know exactly what you're talking Hey, everybody. About. It is me, uh, sh- uh, hop, uh, pop artist Shakira. I'm going to sing for you guys. Yay! Okay, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to get copyrights. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna fucking that that's gonna fucking linger. Stuff. God damn it, Elliot! Is it kind of like the orange soda in butthole? <laughs> yeah, I still use that. By the way, <laughs> I've been using that like a thief at market. <laughs> <laughs> we I use that now to describe a customer's house that smells terrible. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> so no, we got the selfie with the with the with the chief, that which means we're, we're we're done with him. We're yeah, we're an okay. official junior detective, and a racist. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like, <laughs> it's just like, I don't know if he actually see the new kid actually sees that it's kind of racist. I think that the new kid, well, the new kid doesn't give off any sense of agency of his own. So as far as we care, he's just a fucking plank doing what he's told. Yeah, but not too assertive or her snow boss will think she's a snow bitch. Attacking a powerful snow woman, huh? How typical. Nevertheless, we persisted. Gnarly. Wow, you have a lot of followers for a new kid, new kid. Thanks. <laughs> like, y- because you're able, because you punch the snowman, you can actually kind of gain respect from them. And also, because we left the we left the police station, boom, we're we're near we're near houses already. Well, then again, that, I'm not too surprised about that, considering how South Park was originally like we we're gonna make this setting for the sake of a plot before, ironically enough, stick of truth, where they actually had to design a layout for the city. Yeah. yeah. I imagine Ubisoft approaching the two for night, like, yeah, all right, so what's the, what's the blueprint for the city? And they're like, fuck! <laughs> I remember that was a similar thing they had to think about for uh, Simpsons Road Rage when they were making that game. It's yeah. like, we will always reference these locations, but where are they actually? And where is Springfield? Uh, where the hell is Springfield? Yes. Springfield is it? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it, it borders on, like, four different states. I'm still, I'm still, I'm still in the say that the crossover Family Guy Simpsons episode should have happened much earlier. Yeah. Well, yeah, because I mean, folks want. I mean, I would say around Family Guy's third season is when they wanted that crossover to happen. But at the same time, you know, when that crossover eventually did happen, it was pretty much exactly how I would thought it was going to go down, because as as folks want to say that Family Guy is a Simpsons rips off, their style of humor is radically different. Oh, yeah. And the crossover really highlights that to the point where it doesn't work in my it opinion. It doesn't mesh. Yeah. But then again, to be honest, that's one of those things where you s- it's one of those ideas that sounds good, and only until you actually put it through, you realize how bad it is. But now you can't stop because you're too committed to the idea. Yeah. Like, I know Simpsons and Futurama have had that crossover, but then again, it's that's from funny. the same person. Yeah. And, but at the same time, again, idea doesn't exactly mesh because exactly. Futurama has a different style of humor altogether. Yeah. Right. You know? But I don't want to be that dickhead that says you need to have a certain in, in IQ to understand Futurama, you know, because I want to be a Rick and Morty fan. Uh, but uh, the, the, the ones who keep yelling that about Rick yeah. and Morty are the ones who missed the point to Rick and Morty. Yeah. yeah. But when I understand that, too, because I, I, I say that as I'm not a Rick and Morty fan. I just. Which is a damn shame. It's a fine it's show. Not fine. I'm just not a fan of the show. You that's, know? that's fair. You I know? like it. That's but very fair. Strong. You know, if I if I want to if I want to watch like, an ultra violent Futurama, then I'll watch an ultra violent Futurama. Like we can't we can't all we can't all like the Szechuan sauce, you know. Well, I, I, even that, I, it's not even because like whatever, because I'm like memes and all that sort of thing. Whatever. Yeah. That, that, that's an entirely different thing. I never want to watch anything because I saw a meme of it one time. I feel like the very shallow reason I want to get into it. How does the silent NPC interrogate the ri- witness? Uh, well, I 
mean, using the silent oh, okay. really make a witness anti. I look, I know y'all need my help and shit, but I ain't talking to you. Go get my medication. Oh boy, I forgot we're going there. You gotta go pick up my prescription, all right? Oh, she has ADHD. All right, I I relate to that actually because I'm in the same boat. You ain't getting a full coherence out of me without mine unless I'm talking about a video game. Okay. Remember the um the medicinal fried chicken? Yeah. Yeah, that's where we gotta go. Uh, okay. But we have a he's gonna he's gonna in a way uh, enhance my superhero abilities. So. Uh, he talks more about the DNA strand that I got. And, like, he pretty much goes into... Yeah, so he pretty much goes into these are what the DNA strands are for and just make sure that that they work for your class, you know, for your powers. So if you were an elemental user, you would want something that increases your brains. Yeah. You know, because that right there looks like it's a well-balanced stat gain because everything except brawn is middle ground yeah but my strength went up yeah now what what part does that help in terms of the classes that you picked so in my case um i wanted to go i wanted to go for a bit more strength even though i'm not a brutalist yet <laughs> yeah so why do it now were you just having a brain fart that was a brain fart that was just me being stupid okay but this is a fried chicken yeah that's where we that's where it used to be a kfc but it used to be a KFC, but now it's a uh, place for medicinal fried uh, weed. <laughs> All right, we got we got a. Oh, is it um his cousin? Yeah, yeah. he's back at it again. Okay. Here, kitty, kitty. Oh, here, forthy, forthy. I'm gonna fuck out. Get some free experience. Mm. <laughs> I understand that mindset, Elliot. I do. Uh, it, it's just that if you know you're recording for like a post commentary, you can edit it out anyway. I know, uh, and you no, know, nobody will really. Yeah, care. because not for nothing. Like the way I play games is, I don't really run from a fight unless I know I'm not supposed to be there. Yeah, yeah. Because like when I, uh, I'm planning on recording Final Fantasy VII for uh, weekend RPGs oh at some point soon, and I'm probably going to use the speed up feature liberally. Just oh, like just for the sake of getting a move on, absolutely. You know, it's gonna fuck me up a bit, but okay. Uh, no, I w you won't see it, uh, because I I'll talk like for maybe grinding if I just want to make things a little easier. If I have to do that at all, I probably won't. Uh, but still, it's like if, if it's something that you can use, especially for recording's sake, fucking hell to use it. You know. Yeah. Uh, one of the reasons um, at the time of this upload, uh, I was talking to my audience about. So I'm getting ready to record Generation Four. Uh, ideally, though, I like to play it on an emulator, but I never used DS emulation in my life, mm -hmm. you know, and I have no qualms about using it because I own a physical copy of the game. Yeah. Because um, I really want to speed up level grinding if I need to do that, and I feel with Generation Four, you need something like that because just how slow the battle system is, comparatively speaking. Yeah, I should say. Platinum's faster. Uh, Platinum is faster than Diamond and Pearl. It is, but not much. Right. It's still not Gen Five fast. Um, and now it, you're getting it, pictures with the Marsh family. Yeah, right. if, if it helps speed up the process to make the recording session smoother, I'm all for it. Yeah. You know. 12 is pretty much going to be recorded in dual speed all the time. <laughs> <laughs> because they don't drive random battles in that game, and I kill everything that gets in my way. Yeah. I, I don't blame you for having that mentality. I think Xenoblade Chronicles 2 it's does that. Well, honestly, it's a good mentality to have, because if you, if you go through your destination and you fight every battle along the way, you shouldn't need to grind Yeah. in a situation like that. Only if the game is obnoxious <laughs> that you still need to grind after you do that, then that's like, a problem. Legend what, what of you, Gaia. Is that yeah. the worst case? Legend of Gaia is one of those cases where if you're not grinding, you're going to fall behind fast. Uh, Pokemon Coliseum. You can fight every trainer battle as you're going along. And the halfway point of the game, the Cypher administrators will still be seven, eight levels above you. But then okay. that's, that's taken in the fact that you're not rematching the trainer's routine. Yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm talking about playing it the standard Pokemon way, yeah. which is my problem with Coliseum, because I, I did not adjust a pro uh, properly for it, yeah. you know, which I did for Gale of Darkness, and I overdid it <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> because the level curve was just lower. So, like, are those the worst cases, like, for you? Like, yes. Worst case for me is that even, after you, even if you fight battles along the way 
without running away for any reason, oh my God, and you are still getting your ass <laughs> kicked. Oh. Even with proper strategies, if the level gap is that significant that you can't do anything, that's a problem. Yeah. You know, it's a very old school fashion RPG mentality. Uh, Matt, then, can you explain Legend of, of Lagaya then? Like, I did it, I did it already kind of like quick enough, but basically, Lagaya is one of those games where if you do not grind and train, you will fall behind. Okay. Very easily. Hey, you got the fuck you, kid. Uh, Craig. Craig. <laughs> yeah. How does Craig react about his Yowie being all over the city? <laughs> He's used to it. He's actually very used to it at this point. Because in the show they kind of they were together, but then the concept of in the context of right now, they're they're enemies to each other because he went Craig wanted to stick with uh, Coon and friends, while Tweak wanted to stick with uh, Freedom Pals. Freedom Pals. Right. Okay. Because the Freedom Pals, like their their whole superhero franchise is fucked entirely in terms of like how they should like uh, release everything that they want to do. Well, what do you mean? Like, uh, Coon gets oh, ma many more movies down. because, you know, it's Carp. It's Carp. Okay. He's got satellite beam attacks. Yeah, he does. But then again, it's like, then again, you know, Final Fantasy VII had that with Baron. I don't give a shit. Does it ever explain where that satellite came from? Space? Actually, now that I think about it, wouldn't that attack make more sense for Sid? Yeah. Mm, actually, no. Because Sid, because Sid is like the resident dragoon of the game, so naturally they gotta give him like. But he has good. access to the technology though, because he himself. Barrett can easily hijack buff. the technology. Yeah. Actually, could he? Actually, that, really, that would be more of a Jesse thing. thing. It's not really a hacker. Yeah. Yeah, it's more of a Jesse thing. Yeah. No, if, uh, if Jesse was still alive. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> but uh. Okay. Okay, that does it. Would you know what? It's funny because I think about it. I think Final Fantasy XIV had that idea because the machinist class, its level three limit break. Starts with um, uh, the same animation of a an animation. What the fuck just came out of my mouth? Uh, Sid's level four. I think <laughs> uh, Sid's level four had him like call the high wind for like the bombardment, and that's how your animation starts. But it's a giant fucking satellite. Beam. So you guys ready for phase two? Oh no! Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> oh god! Oh, yeah! Oh no! She does not play around though. I'll oh yeah, say she's that. an adult oh, yeah. going against kids. Well, yeah, not to mention not for another, but she's a goddamn bitch. She's a big bad bitch. She's yeah, they're playing the song the right oh, now. Is that what it is? They're playing the song. Oh, let's see. Hold on. Hold on. I farted. Your turn is now property of Coon and friends. They're playing the song. Oh my they god! They had to play it because it was like, if you're getting the opportunity to fight Kyle's mom, why would you not play the song? <laughs> exactly. You, the, 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 fun fact. Fun fact, though, the pe the people that that had the rate they had to give a rating for the South Park movie, kind of kind of regret giving it an R rating. <laughs> right. They well, even, they said they said like, we regret giving that movie just an R rating. We did. We shouldn't have done that. Because, well, well, because the thing is that the South Park movie originally had a lot of trouble just getting a rating yeah. at all. Yeah, you know. But I think, and Kyle just Matt Stone and Trey Parker's like their mentality was: if you don't like this, then we're just gonna make this worse. Right. You know, which in a way is kind of like extorting. <laughs> it is <laughs> the uh, the MPAA. I think it was. Uh, oh boy. Yeah, she is. <laughs> well, to be fair, you're attacking, I know. You're attacking her kids, attacking and her I would have been yeah. fucking. Killing I know. We, yeah. we all would. We all would be the same way. Let's be fair. Absolutely. What's he gonna do? <laughs> He's going for a summoning spell. No, he has a shield. Uh. It was actually revealed she's also an Italian. No, Jersey. Jersey. Sorry. She's from New Jersey. <laughs> Fuck that Jersey episode. <laughs> You just enraged <laughs> Sheila Broflowski? What the fuck is wrong with you? And why do that? Why enrage her? Because the main thing about it is that when you enrage someone, the person, the character, the enemy that you enrage will go after the character. Oh, so okay, a, so, so basically, it's it's it gets everyone. It gets it it's gets her provoke. off of everyone else. It's a provoke. Yes. Okay. Something I'm surprised Cartman doesn't have. Yeah, no, seriously. Yeah, uh, something Cartman should not have inherently, because everybody hates Cartman. All right. Okay, you gotta take out the healer. Yeah. Oh, that 
Okay, for a second there, I thought like Kyle would like turn coat. What do you mean? He did. D is he an enemy he, now? Yeah, he's against you. Oh. Yeah. Okay, okay. For for this fight in <laughs> in particular, okay, because okay. you know. Then again, it's. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know. Like, it just sneaks up song. on you. It sneaks up on you for not talking. Oh, yeah, I was singing the song. Yeah. It's, like, it's a classic song. I didn't even know there was an instrumental version of it until this fight. Th this, <laughs> the instrumental for it was made for the game. Oh, it was made for the game. Okay, yeah. okay. Oh, boy. God damn. damn. <laughs> she knocked you the fuck out. Oh. He said I don't know what it, I just sort of realized it now. They got like... A, it, I'm convinced I could hear this 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 song right here at a bar mitzvah. <laughs> well, I think it's set up in ten. Yeah, it like is. That. Yeah. The other thing with Sheila is that look at the turn cards. She gets a lot of turns. Yeah. But she's fast. But again, again, adult. So, yeah. You know, I would. At the same time, though, kids are supposed to be more energetic. I would think it would make sense if the kids have more turns. I can't couldn't even believe that. <laughs> I never had I never had the threat of I will eat your organs. Like Oh dude. Clearly you haven't been in enough zombie movies. <laughs> or you just haven't pissed off the right people. Yeah. I remember one I remember one of my one of my late father's favorite insults was I'm gonna rip out your lungs through your ass. <laughs> Something I stole. <laughs> What Fuck. you eat, cheese? Is that a uh, case quesadilla. A, a quesadilla? Oh. You know, I fucking want Mexican now, and I brought a salad for today. <laughs> <laughs> How's your day going? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what'd you bring for lunch? Uh, I got, like, uh, I got leftover steak and some mashed potatoes. What'd you bring? Co coincidentally, there's no, this has nothing to do with, um, uh, that had nothing to do with, uh, Colin's, anybody running Salt and Cartman's mom. It was just that Kyle always wanted a reason to hit Cartman. I'd say this is a perfect reason. Mm -hmm. You better off just taking the fucking butt attack rather than the fucking bant. She, she slapped the shit out of me, though. You fucking, you're attacking her kids. But if you're telling me to like take take the take the butt hits, she hit me. She slapped the shit out of me. I can't take. I that's not her ass. That's the smart thing to do. Diabetes is the way to go if you can enrage her toward him. <laughs> What a nice yeah, sentence. What Diabetes about, is the what way about, But what about the game, man? <laughs> what about it? <laughs> yeah, what about it? <laughs> <laughs> sounds, right. strange, sounds strange. I didn't know you played the game. I haven't. If you're feeling down game? on your... <laughs> what game? <laughs> if you're feeling down on your luck, diabetes is the way to go. <laughs> uh, be a shame if you ripped your sweet costume, Keeper Craig. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'd be upset, too, if my hoodie was ripped. Now, is Kyle getting ready to do something, or is that just an idol? That's, that's his idol. Okay. Yeah. You and your friends play too well, for the love. Well, all that's left is his mom. <laughs> you better take her out right the fuck now, otherwise it's going to get worse. I mean... The problem is that the guy's kind of blocking your way. Nah, it's fine. I got ice. And we did it. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> They got the dreidel of vengeance. <laughs> she just she, she calls your parents though, right? She should. Yeah, I mean that's pretty that's much not your game over you right there. Don't drop. She, 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 that's you mean, of, you, like, mean, bad you, mean ending. you mean cops? Going, guys, Kyle, get inside and call the police. We have to get these kids arrested. No, no, mom, no police. This is all my fault. What? Look, it's just I, I couldn't take my cousin copying everything I do. The human kite is about saving people, not about Judaism. And now look at all the damage you've caused. Right. <laughs> <laughs> up in a tree. I'm sorry. Please, I'll do anything. You are going to let your cousin play with you from now on. Is that clear? Oh boy, Kyle and Sheila says I get to play with you. Yes, sometimes you can play with us. Yippee! He's actually not kidding on that. Oh, no. Does it become a summon? Or? Not a summon. A tag nut. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he, he actually is. You, he's a tag nut. Is it a cis character? Or? No. What? <laughs> it gets into it. It, it happens okay. during battle. Okay. Is it going to be one of those things where, once again, we may understand why it happens, but we don't still like it? Is it intrusive? Uh, no. 
So no, it's doesn't, not it doesn't get in the way of combat whatsoever. It's just an extra. So if anything, it's a buff, Arcor. and then it's just a just an, uh, a little additive. That's all. Yeah. Hardcore, hardcore. Har yeah, hardcore, hardcore. <laughs> Much to the new kid's own dismay. <laughs> How do we get down? Same way. Wait, wouldn't your ass full of surprises mean more to what's the name of that? Uh, Name of that character that had the nuke up his ass from the last game? Uh, Mr. Slave. Mr. Slave. So you need Kyle to do Farcore. Yes. Hmm. I've, have we even seen Stan yet? Not yet. We have not seen Tool shit. Yeah, actually, we have not seen Stan at all yet. Which is kind of wild. Yeah, I know. Like, it's like we do welcome. see. We'll see him later. Just right now, we're in the. I like to call it the Coon and Friends arc. Okay. So is there also like a Freedom Pals arc? Yeah. Too? It it all kind of connects, but like it's still cohesive at least. You want to do a social media thing right now? Fine. Selfie. The thing is, I already got the picture with him, and I was kind of confused on this. It's like, oh wait, I think I already had the selfie with him. Nice. Hmm. So we, now we can just we give cousin Kyle his kite back. <laughs> oh. Now this may sting a little, Bubby. Oh. Is it supposed to burn, Aunt Sheila? Because it's stinging and it's burning. Bubby, that's water. No, it's working. <laughs> Ouch. Look, Bubby, they got your kite. It's kind of a mentality I do have. It's like if it's burning, that means it's doing something. Yeah. You can say the same thing about fire. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. It's like well, fire can cauterize a wound. <laughs> but if you're just, just if you're putting your hand on the stove. Yeah, also, if it's burning, it's working. If I'm applying ointment or uh, hydrogen peroxide on an open wound and it's burning, I'm like, okay, this must be means it's doing something. Or liquid nitrogen. Like, why that would you pour liquid you nitrogen on an open wound? <laughs> <laughs> Where would you get For liquid nitrogen? what scenario would you ever pour liquid nitrogen on an open wound? Come on, let's hear it. Yeah, I, I do. I'm actually really curious as to hearing this tale. Those deep cut references. Those deep cut re Why would you pour liquid nitrogen over it? Just cauterize the fucking thing. You're going to lose your entire limb. <laughs> exactly, you idiot. It's like it's not a deep cut. It's a deep amputation. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I can imagine Johnny at the fucking doctor, though. So. Look, doc, it's burning me alive, but I think it's doing something. I'm going to let it take its course. Johnny, that's straight up sulfuric acid. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, doing. It's, it's working its miracles. Yeah, that arm's not going to bother you anymore. So wait, if it, <laughs> so if it burns when it, you pee, does that mean it's working? <laughs> And what's working though? Like you're, you're, my, the my, shame, my pisser, or the shame, the the shame, yeah, both. If it burns when you pee, yeah. <laughs> what did I just tell you? <laughs> Thanks, Tally. No, seriously, hydrogen peroxide on paper cuts the fucking worst. <laughs> what do you mean? In a way, paper like, cuts how? are the absolute worst. Yeah, you can possibly imagine. Which I know is strange, given it's like you know what are you talking about. No. Pretty sure you're getting shot is worse. <laughs> paper cut, but it's like man, it's like when you get a paper cut in the wrong area, it's like reverse holy shit. lotus. What's it like being stabbed? <laughs> Fucking hurts. I, I can't. I can't Fucking speak hurts. from. I can't speak from experience. Fucking hurts. I stepped on glass, but uh, I had a nail run I, through my foot. I never. Uh, oh, did you get a tetanus shot for that? Yeah, I had a, yeah, that ended my whole day at work. But that's a story for another time. Okay. See you guys later. <laughs> no, I want to learn more about the tetanus shot. <laughs> tetanus shots tomorrow. Yeah. Tetanus shots next week. Yeah.